Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. We are back. We are recording the podcast live because I wanted to for this very special one, which is four AI tools that you will actually use. Now, there's been a lot of chat about AI, <coughs> rightly so, over the course of the whole of this year, but I've been able to focus and feature it down to four that I've been using on the regular, and I want to show them to you. Now, before we begin, I want to let you know that you are very, very close to the big bash. The big bash that is happening in the uh, north of the UK in a city, sorry, called York. It's happening at the York race course on the 14th of November. Now, if you haven't yet got your ticket, you need to get it now because they are selling out fast. Go to boostly.co.uk forward slash bash. It is on the 14th of November. All right, so there's a four tools that I'm going to show you. Now, I'm not going to go through the obvious ones, which is, you know, chat, GPT, et cetera, because you've learned about that. You know about that. And if you haven't yet discovered that on this uh, channel, then please make sure you go and check out all the other videos that we've done on AI throughout the course of this year, as well as the Instagram, the Facebook, and all the training that we've done. If this is the first time that you are tuning into this, make sure you're liking it, subscribing it, and make sure that you're sharing it with other hosts. The mission here is to help you increase your diet bookings and cut down on the over-reliance, and AI is going to play a large part of that. So let's go quick straight in, shall we? First website that I want to show you today is Po, P-O-E.com. So have a look at the top right, left-hand corner. You'll be able to see uh, the link there. So the, basically, you know about ChatGPT, ChatGPT4 and all that good stuff. Well, there are so much more generative AI bots that are available right now. And what Poe does really well is you can quickly flip between the different bots for your commands. So um, over the course of this year, if I increase my screen here, this one has obviously been the popular one, which is ChatGPT4. I think it's the one that everybody knows about. It's the one that everybody goes. But over the course of this year, uh, Cloud by Anthropic has been um, really gaining traction and it's very, very popular. Now, I personally, if I've got an email or a, or a social post that I want to put together, I won't use ChatGPT anymore. I will use Cloud and Cloud2. Now, instead of me having to go from one website to the other, what Poe does really well, it has got all of the bots in here. So I can quickly flip between, uh, you know, ChatGPT, Cloud, for example. There's loads and loads and loads that are coming in. We've got the new Llama one from, uh, from Meta, which is obviously Facebook, and so much, so much more. And so it's free. It's simple to use. You get, you know, just like any tool, you get a free, uh, free amount and then you have to start charging. But I've never had to pay for this once. And it's a, it's a really, really cool um, resource. So poe.com. Go check it out. And again, I'm not going to talk to you about different commands to put in, etc. because we've done all those prompts. Again, if you want to get that prompt guide that I always talk about, the top 100 ones, simply send me an email, mark at booster.co.uk, and I'll get that prompt over to you. Now, the next one is perplexity. Now, this is not the first time that I've mentioned about perplexity. It is P-E-R, let me blow up the screen again, P-E-R-P-L-E-X-I-T-E dot A-I. Now, perplexity on its own, you can ask it questions, you can upload a file, you can do all those cool things, you can do Copilot, which is like a little bit automated. Automated AI still isn't there, in my opinion. I've been messing around with it all year. I've been trying to see if it can create me a booking, create travel plans. It's good, but it's not great. But what perplexity is really good is that you can download this Google Chrome extension, as you can see in the top uh, right of my screen right now. And when you've got the extension, what it means is that you can go to a specific domain or a specific page and you can ask it questions about it. Now, um, for example, if I come onto the Boostly website, as I am here, boostly.co.uk, and if I click on the perplexity extension, which you can now see in the top right hand corner of your screen, there's a little box that says focus. So you can do all websites, which is not what we want to do. You can do just page of this domain. So I can come to this domain and I can go, uh, what is this website all about? And it will tell me in the answer here, Boostly is a hospitality digital marketing company based in the UK. They offer tools, tactics, and training. Everything that I speak about all the time, and you can delve into it further. Now, if there was a, a specific blog post that you came across, so if I um, flip from here to rental scale up 
which is one of my favorite go-to uh, resources on the World Wide Web until scale up. If I run a Google search, this is this what keeps me up to date with everything that is going on right now in the in the world of the World Wide Web. If I come onto here and let's just say I come into the latest blog, which was well, not the latest blog, but one of the blogs that T Belt has put out. And if I come into here and if I click on focus and I do this page, I could go uh, give me a summary of this page. And it will give me an answer of everything that is going on, not on the domain, not on the World Wide Web, but specifically on this page. So it basically breaks down the blog for me. So this article discusses pricing, uh, Airbnb strategic priorities for 2023, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if I wanted to, I could go to the domain. I could ask, uh, answer it, follow up questions. So again, it's it's something that will really help speed up the process. Like t has got some of the best blogs. Um, him and Uvika have got some of the best blogs that are out there in this industry. I do recommend that you go and check out the website. But that is where perplexity is really good. Other ways that I've used perplexity this year, um, I've already done a video on this and, and I, I spoke about it in a training that I did, but uh, I needed a 360 camera. There's loads of choices. I went onto Amazon. I said, right, find me the best 360 camera. And he went and did it for me, which is fantastic. So that is perplexity.ai. As you can see now, they've got uh, apps that you can use. Um, you can do all the cool things, but I think on the desktop, laptop, brilliant. The next one is Feedly. So again, let me blow this up so you can read it. Feedly, F-E-E-D-L-Y dot com. Now, um, as you can see here, they've got a tool that is called Feedly AI. Okay, so speed up your research by 70%. Keep up with topics and trends you care about within a sea of articles. Can be overwhelming and time consuming. Utilize Feedly AI to effortlessly, effortlessly track topics, companies and trends across the web. Now, um, this is a paid service, but if you want to keep on track and on, t on top of, of not just rental scale up, but every other thing that's in the industry, you can go in and you can train it up. So you can say, right, I want to find out more about the, the current trends in short term rentals, medium term rentals, what are the latest like, legislations come in, Airbnb, Boostly, all of that, and it will come in and you'll train this bot up. And basically when you log onto the app or come onto the desktop, it will only show you the uh the articles that you want to be seeing so instead of having to wade your way through linkedin feeds or twitter etc or x you can do it straight by coming into feedly it's a really cool tool the next one is mymind.com now again this is one that i've just started playing around with um i think the best way to describe it if you've ever used it is evernote so evernote is like your second brain um you come across so many things uh throughout the day um, images you want to take, maybe inspiration for a new short-term rental. could be a marketing tactic or tip. It could be a, uh, a picture. It could be a blog. It could be a social media post. What my mind does is you grab it, you save it into here, and it will automatically tag and organize it for you. So one of the pain points with Evernote, and I, don't, I won't show you mine because there's loads in there, but I have to go in, I have to leave a tag, a description, you know, all of the things after I've added it in so it will be able to remind, remind me of it in the future. But what my mind does is it does everything for you. So it, it, it takes an image of it and it goes, right, this is, this, is, this is what this is, this is how it's going to help you. The best way to describe it is just to go and play around with it. Um, it's it's a very, very cool service. I've just started using it and I can already see the benefits of it. And the more that I do you know, use it in the future, I, I can know that I can come back on this in 2024, 2025. And if there's something that I needed to pluck out from a specific time, day or tag, it will literally help me do this for you. So that's mymind.com. So again, let me blow this up so you can see in the top left-hand corner, mymind.com. And those are the four tools. Again, PO, P-O-E. Go in, play around with it, absolutely free. Uh, perplexity, free to get started with. You get a certain amount of um, things and you have to start charging. Feedly AI is a paid service and my mind is as well. But combined, these four things right here will help organize your day. They will help um, put it all together. They'll help keep you on track with the latest trends and the demands that are going on. And plus you'll have that AI bot literally right there with you. These are the four tools that I am using. These are the four tools that I believe will, will help you. 
And uh, what I would love for you to do in the comments now is to let me know any tools that you are using on the day to day in the comments right now. So whether you're watching with us live or back on the replay on all the channels that we're going to upload this video and this podcast to, let us know. But for now, thank you so much. As always, stay awesome, stay proactive, don't be reactive. Let's go and get some diary bookings. Having a blast. Gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee because it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes. Don't write it, just do it loosely.